Some of your favorite products may soon be looking you right in the eye and sizing you up thanks to a super sophisticated advertising technique. The interactive ads are designed to be similar to those seen in the sci-fi thriller Minority Report, of course starring Tom Cruise. The products identify with a customer by scanning their faces to determine characteristics like gender and age. The company, Immersive Labs, hope to have the futuristic ads on the market as soon as this fall. Harsh criticism from users, Facebook deciding to face their problems head on after quietly enrolling all of its over 750 million users into its new tag suggestions feature. Earlier on this year, Mark Zuckerberg and company are now showing fans how to actually opt out of that service. Many users were uncomfortable, understandably so, with the new feature, which uses facial recognition to suggest pictures to their friends and friends that should tag them. In those photos, the company is now running ads on all profiles to teach users more about the new system and how they can opt out if they so choose. And speaking of facial recognition software, this is all the buzz. The war between Facebook and Google Plus just stepped up a notch. Just days after Google acquired PitPat, a company that specializes in facial recognition technology, Facebook made a move of its own. The company deciding to team up with Israeli startup Face.com to integrate the company's software into its photo sharing service. For more on this and much more on technology, go to foxbusiness.com and click on Tech and Connect. Been studying facial recognition technology since Palo Alto in the late 60s. Nowadays, every major bank is using it, and it's also being used on the battlefield. After they shot Osama bin Laden to death, the Navy SEALs shot a photo of him and quickly transmitted it back to Washington. Even with a bullet in the eye, with special facial recognition software, the U.S. government was able to identify him as America's number one enemy. They took the picture in the battlefield and they have historical images of um, Osama bin Laden. The computer will compare those images. Facial recognition technology focuses on the top half of a face from the cheeks up, an area unique to every person. You may have seen the technology on social networking sites like Apple's iPhoto used to organize pictures, but perhaps its biggest use these days is with security. Facial recognition technology is now used in banks and retail stores around the world to prevent fraud and to catch thieves. It's a mathematical representation of the face. That mathematical representation is referred to as biometrics. 3VR, a south-of-market software company, specializes in analyzing biometrics found in surveillance video. For example, a bank with 3VR software can catch an imposter cashing your checks. In the old days, police might have to look through hours and hours of videotapes. Now, as fast as a Google search, facial recognition software can sort bank video associated with your account. It will flag the guy who doesn't look like you, cashing your checks, and a thief is caught. We looked at the point-of-sale transaction system. Retail stores use it to catch criminals, whether an organized theft ring or an inside job. An and even though surveillance video can be grainy or catch someone at an odd angle, 3VR says its technology is very accurate and can send information to a multitude of stores all at once. If I've established a good pattern that this is a person that I want to be looking for, I can actually be proactive and go out and create an alert for that person. There are also a couple of other major identifying factors for bin Laden. One, the government says a DNA test came back more than 99% accurate. And Dana, a woman on the scene described as one of bin Laden's wives, pointed him out to the Navy SEALs. It is all so fascinating. It really is. Joe Vasquez in San Francisco, thank you. The regional airport receives a security upgrade, and it's the first airport in the nation to use the 3VR security system. It's being installed right now. That system has several unique features, including face recognition. Alex Shabbat is here now with more on the story. Well, David, no matter whether you're moving outside or inside the airport, this new system is capable of following you. And officials say it's a big boost for security.
We could go back for up to two years and search and see if we've seen your face. It stores what you look like and knows where you go. It's called 3VR, the newest security technology at Evansville Regional Airport. Certainly beneficial to us and gives us another dimension. Unlike the current airport security system, the 3VR records everything it captures. Eric Moss with Gaither Technology, the company installing the system, says it's much more effective than relying on someone to monitor video. It's not very efficient use of, of Tom, if somebody walks away or if somebody dozes off, you miss essentially what's going on in your video environment. The way the 3VR works is it gives a representation of that video, so it's very easy to see what's happened in the last five minutes, uh, 30 minutes, uh, an hour. One of the best parts of this new technology is it has facial recognition, meaning once the camera sees you, it'll track you wherever you go. We found you. We know that you were in our environment. Now we're going to search our um, system for all the events um, uh, around your face being found. And what that's going to give us is uh, your arrival, your departure, where did he come from, where did he go. And that's not all. The system also can track the movement of a potential suspect or of a suspicious object. All that information is organized by date and time. So it's taking these pictures as they're streamed in, not going back and mining through all this video, meaning we get a uh, very quick and uh, responsive system. And now airport manager Bob Working is looking forward to putting the $75,000 system to use. I think it's uh, it'll be a, an enhancement to our security system. So from that end, yeah, we're pleased with it. Officials expect the system to be fully effective in the next 30 days, and coming up tonight at 6, we'll tell you about another feature it has that may surprise you. Alex Shabad, 14 News. With more and more people traveling the world, it becomes increasingly difficult to keep track of individuals. who they are, where they go, and what they are doing. Biometric information systems are fast emerging. Biometrics can improve document safety. If you lose your passport, you can simply use your fingerprint to prove your identity. Biometrics can make traveling faster, easier, and safer. But who is a trusted traveler? Who is a terrorist suspect or threat to public order? Who should we let pass the borders easily? And who should be placed under suspicion? With more information being gathered, our identities, movements and actions are made visible to government and business by biometric information systems. Biometric technologies are automated methods for recognizing and identifying people. Fingerprinting, iris scan, facial recognition and voice recognition are biometric methods. In the near future there will be more biometric technologies using DNA, gait or body odor or even recognizing suspicious behavior and criminal intentions. Possible threat to public or gender male. Information about fingerprints, electronic and economic transactions, cultural background, physical appearances can be stored in central computers. Collect information, connect the dots, gain control. Hello. 
me to share with you what I would like to see us move toward a world that is banded together by security envelopes, meaning secure environments through which people and cargo can move rapidly, efficiently, and safely without sacrificing security or privacy. For those within the security envelope, we will have a high degree of confidence and trust. That would enable us to focus more of our resources for those outside the security envelope, to make sure those who seek to harm us do not slip through the cracks.